Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to this new tutorial series. So in this new tutorial, which is the second one, we're going to be learning custom post types. So we need to add a new uh, post type like these over here. And we're going to be naming it cars so that we can be specialized in creating cars and also selling them. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to just search for a custom post type WordPress like this. And we will go to uh, register post type exactly the, the developer wordpress.org excellent and we're going to be scrolling down until we found uh, an example of that and we're going to just change these uh, settings okay so let's scroll even more down i think uh nope even more down exactly over here so register a book so we're going to be uh, over here we're going to be using the example of a book we're going to be changing it in a second so just I'm gonna just copy everything from here copy everything copy over here and let's go over here and paste it in the index index page like this so I'm gonna just delete these I'm gonna just keep the function so first let's just make this thing easier we have the function and we have over here the hook the add action hook meaning that this function over here is gonna be uh, activated once our plugin is activated or initialized okay so let's check what do we have over here so this is the labels we have the name we have the singer name uh, menu name and so on and so forth I'm going to just keep the name and the singular name I just I don't want to be confused with all these stuff over here we don't need it just these two stuff also over here uh, I'm gonna be changing books to cars the name of it and over here I'm gonna just put car like this and over here uh, text domain let's put it keep it at cars with the uh, not capital okay so for the arrays over here let's check what we have we have label uh, labels so these are the labels over here okay you can see that you can also include these over here but it's good to have this uh, kind of variable uh, public true yes public queerly uh, I don't know I don't think we're gonna be need this showing UI true showing menu true query var true rewrite Yes, we need to rewrite that as course over here, uh, not course, car. Car, uh, capability type, post, okay. It has archive, yes, we need to, uh, we're gonna be using this archive. I recall, uh, false, uh, we're gonna be needing that later on, but for now, let's just keep it as false. Uh, for the support, for the support, this one is important, so I'm gonna just keep uh, title, editor, author, thumbnail, excerpt, we're gonna be uh, removing these, but before that, let's just see this one in action so i'm gonna just save also over here let's change uh, this one to cars just a custom post type and also for the function over here i would like to change it i don't like this function over here so let's call it e-commerce custom uh, cpt just cpt cpt custom post type and let's call the name of it cars or no you know what there is no need to have this e-commerce just cpg slash cars and I'm gonna just copy this one and paste it over here excellent so now let's save and let's go to our uh, dashboard our plugin dashboard over here and let's hit refresh and let's see excellent so now you can see that we have cars so let's click on it and basically I already have these I'm gonna just delete them because from uh, recently from uh, let's just remove these remove the trash apply I want to be creating new ones. Okay, so as you can see, we have our custom post type. Also, I'd like to show you these supports over here. So I want to show you what they mean. So let's add new. So over here, you can see that we have everything. We have uh, the title, title over here. The editor is this one over here, the WordPress editor. The author, uh, I'm not sure about the author, but yeah, this one over here, the user. And over here, the discussion, the excerpt, and the thumb thumbnail. So in our case, I'm going to just delete the comments, exert, I'm going to just keep, uh, also for the author, we don't need it. I'm going to just keep these three, the title, editor, and the thumbnail. So let's hit save and let's go back over here and do refresh. So everything just uh, disappears. We're going to be creating in the coming tutorial, we're going to be creating custom fields over here. Uh, that's going to be specialized for our car post type. Uh, also over here I'd like to show you something really important related to the uh, keeping everything organized in your plugin because if you if we stay this way putting ev every function over here with its hook in the index page it's gonna be a long uh, file 
and it's gonna be hard to track everything so we need to keep everything organized so for that I'm gonna just create a new folder over here let's call it a new folder I'm gonna call it functions functions like this okay and we're going inside that function we're gonna be creating a file called let's call it control s just to save it first so cpg let's make it capital cpg point php and let's save that excellent okay so from here what i'd like to do is to put i'm gonna just put our function over here copy it I'm gonna just put it over here first we need to open the php tag like this and let's paste our function from here excellent and what we need to do is instead of putting it over here i'm going to just include that file include this file so i'm going to be using the include function include like this and inside that we're going to be putting the path of that uh, file the cpg so inside those parentheses i'm going to be uh, putting functions functions exactly like this and uh, slash cpg point php and let's close that tag delete this so over here we have the add let's uh, make a comment over here so custom post custom post type cars can type today cars excellent so now let's hit save and let's do refresh to see if everything is working excellent so now everything is working just fine so this is just in the spirit of keeping everything organized over here we can add uh, security security I can't type today I don't know why okay so that's it for this tutorial in the comments tutorial we're gonna be uh, working on the custom fields so thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next tutorial take care